Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mooney here, and as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your Nate to open like I have in this lobby. I was going to wait until it went strict again, but it hasn't recently, so I'm just going to do it. And the proof is there my Nate type is open, and I've told someone else, and they've done it, and they know who they are. I think they can write, they can write in the comments that it did work. So, I'm just, before I actually show you how to do it, I'm just going to show first tell you a few requirements that you have to have. You have to have a copy of Modern Warfare 2. It's on, you have to have a copy of Modern Warfare 2. Your NAT type has to be 2 on the PlayStation. I'll show you how to detect how it's 2 on the PlayStation if you don't already know. I, as I've just said, this is for PlayStation. I don't know whether it does work for Xbox. You can try it for Xbox. And the fourth thing, I, I have the BT Home Hub. And the person who tried it for, with my instructions has the BT Home Hub 1. I have the BT Home Hub 2. And it's both work for us, so it works for any BT Home Hub. But another friend of mine did it and it hasn't worked. And he's got like a Netgear router, so it may only work for bt home hub so but you can try it if you really want to get your nat type open as this i nat type being strict or moderate it affects matchmaking as it actually says in the bottom right hand corner if if your nat type is strict or moderate and you can't connect to certain people unless their nat type is open so if two people have strict nat types you can't connect to each other and that's a problem because people like to play together and without black ops it doesn't Without well, without playing with friends, it can get a bit boring at times. So you go on Black Ops, check that your type is strict or moderate, then you will quit Black Ops. Then eject eject the disc. I'm just before before I show you the next step, I'm just going to show you how to connect your NAT how to detect your NAT type is two on the PlayStation. So you go to you go to settings here, yeah, network settings. You go to settings and connection status list or status whatever or internet connection settings and do one of them and it should say that your NAT type is too mine is I'm not going to show you because you can see my IP etc then you get your copy of Modern Warfare 2 insert into the PlayStation and then well I just have to wait for it to load but as I said as I said you do need Modern Warfare 2 it may only work for BT Home Hub because other people have tried it and it hasn't worked but if you start the same router, it does where it. If you can try it because there's only one to try. I actually found this out by looking under PlayStation forums or forums. So if you if this doesn't work for you, if you guys, you can just go on the PlayStation forums. Um, try it. Also, I will link in the description of the video some ports that Black Ops has to open. This is for Wii. Wii, PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. I think Xbox only has two ports that you have to open. Right, so you load Modern Warfare 2, go to this screen, and that type will be open. You quit the game. And you take Modern Warfare 2 out. And then you will insert Black Ops again, and your NAT type should be open again. I'm just going to put Black Ops back in because I'm going to play it after this video. But that, that is how I got my NAT type open. But again, the port for, to be open for X, that, black, that Black Ops Treyarch and Activision actually say to do will be in the description also I'll put a port forwarding description in just for the BT Home Hub just for the PlayStation just for Black Ops and that's a step by step guide it's really easy to follow and sure you should know it also I'm just going to show you something else you guys may have seen it Woody's Gamertag did a video like a short video on it but you see my screen's gone black for a little while and you would think another the video he's just made a black screen but I haven't Actually, I can. I've skipped all that, like pressing start, main menu, then pressing multiplayer. And how you do that? You go to options, load multiplayer by default. Oh, come on, come on, reading, load multiplayer by default, and you put it to enabled. So that's how you do that. Uh, I hope you did find this video uh, informative, and I hope it explains a lot. And if it doesn't work, or you have any more questions, don't hesitate to put leave comments or send me a message because i'll reply to everything so that's it more or less so again if you need any help just message me leave a comment and i'll see you guys later